Hi, this is Sheldon from Shell Rock Art. Welcome to my channel, and welcome to another adventure in paint pouring. Um, I'm going to be demonstrating another straight cloud pour, and it's slightly different from the ones I did before. Um, this has more of the earthy feel to it, and so I'll show it to you now. And what I really like about this piece is these little glowing areas right here where the color seem to kind of be translucent and edged in the red. So I like the way this piece turned out. And so why don't we go over to my painting table. We'll see how I created this piece, okay? We'll see you over there. Hello everybody, this is Sheldon from Shell Rock Art. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to be doing another straight cloud pour. Um, this one, I wanted to pour over. It really was a nice piece, but I just didn't like how it was so oblong. It didn't really give me a good shape. And then some of the cloud effects were so minimal. So I decided to paint over it and do something different. So let me throw some gloves on and I go over my colors with you. So this first color is Antique Bronze by Deco Art Extreme Sheen. This one here, that's um, Prussian Blue by Amsterdam with a little bit of the, um, I didn't do Midnight Shadow, but I added Cerulean Prism for it to it. Um, this one here is um, Amsterdam Pyro Red, and it has, um, as a prism for a pigment, poppy red to it, just to give it a little bit of shimmer. So that's it right there. There's my consistency. So you can see how thick my colors are. Amsterdam lemon yellow. This is called coral berry, coral pigment, but I added a little bit of um, interference, I'm sorry, red sparkle, as well as this thing called, this color called um, flamingo feather and it's got and it made a little bit of like a pinkish uh, shift to it what I was trying to do is trying to get a like, like a peachy color feel to it so that there and then my pearl white is simply I simplified it and I just made it mainly artist love soft body white and flow troll and I thinned it to the consistency where it's just slightly thinner than the other paints. So if the other paints has like a three second trace, then this will have like a two and a half second trace. This is really that's uh, that um we call it that slight of a trace. So I'm gonna give me some shine in the middle. That's gonna be my deco art. So we'll put that in the bottom first of my cup. And I don't need a lot of that. Then I'm gonna follow it up as a backdrop with the Prussian blue mixture. And I'm doing this kind of left-handed. Normally I do it the other way around. Let me give me a little bit more of a black drop. Good. Now, I want my cloud mix to be a little bit colored. So I'm gonna go with the, a little bit of the red, that power red mixture. If you notice, I got other than the Prussian, for contrast, it's mostly like 
reds and oranges and yellows. So I'm trying to get like this fiery feel to it. Um, there's my cloud mix. Okay. Um, the yellow to sandwich that off. The Amsterdam yellow. And, well, I don't like the way that stacks so high in the cup. So, we'll see how that works out. Give it back to the contrast on the On that, um, I'll use my coral berry next to that. And perhaps um, I will drop a little bit of the um, extreme sheen to maybe give me some effects from up top. Okay, good. All right. and tap you off on a whole surface with the red. All right, so that's my cup there. I hope that works out. Seems like uh, my cloud mix is a little bit higher into the cup. I didn't want that to happen, but you never know, right? So let me get some of these colors emptied out of these containers and use them as flood coats. Just not in the mood to try to save all this. I'll mix some more. And then lastly, I'll get rid of this bronze here. No, nope, I'm gonna save my bronze. What else do I have to get rid of? I'll just save all this. Save my bronze. Okay, that's good. All right. So now let's go with pouring this cup out and it's going to be poured out in real time. Start high. I'm going to lower it a little bit. Low. Okay. It's funny because I'm doing this left handed. Well, 
empty this amount. And sorry about that, my alarm went off. When they cut the camera off, fortunately I remembered that it did that the last time. And as for color combinations, um, I could have done better. Yeah, I definitely could have done better with the color combinations. Let that develop a little bit more. The thing about these, you just can't spin these right away. Got to let it sit. Let those clouds develop. The bronze created some effects in here. But I, be I believe that's going to get spun off. We got to put that uh, toward the middle. Okay. So let's give this a spin. Did I get the fire? No. But I got some pretty interesting cells. I want a little bit more of this red off right here. Just a little bit more. And before I spin that, I believe there's a goo goo right there that's impeding my flow and pulling that paint. All right. I get enough off. I just want that blue to get closer to the edge. Effect wise, I like it. Not too crazy about the colors, but I guess it'll do. Anyway, let me get you down for a closer look before I, when I move it over to the table. Okay, folks, this is the final wet result. Now, there are a few things to note. Um, I'm gonna show you this. So you see these little red dots right there, like one here and one there and one there, and a couple of them here. That is that is a result of the pigment not being fully dissolved. Got a few of them up here too. Okay. Um, also, because Decawar paints are pretty reactive, like. Um, 
satin enamels on Arislav white. It made that center of the bronze kind of puff up like clouds as well. So it got some puffy bronze clouds contrasting these other colors. Now granted, I'm not really crazy about the color, how the colors turned out, but overall, uh, it's a pretty nice piece. I still like it. So again, thank you for watching. This is Sheldon from Sherlock Art. Have a great day. Bye-bye.